um, welcome to my channel today um, those of you on my Facebook page uh, welcome to my Facebook page um, it is if this is your first time on my Facebook page uh, you are welcome um, I'm a secular uh, lifestyle uh, person I'm somebody who speaks secular on my both to YouTube channel and on Facebook yesterday I made a video that I placed about um, Apostle Johnson Suleiman, um, the pastor who commanded, he said he commanded the angels to send money to people's accounts um, right there in the United States. And um, majority of the response was right, but I saw some people who are still uh, being brainwashed by this, um, um, some daddy geos. And there's something I want to tell you guys. You see those your daddy geos, yeah? they only know what they know. They only know what they teach them. You see, you see this Bible that you are looking at, it is political. The Bible is real. And one thing I want to say is, how many of these pastors have come to Israel to stay and study the Bible originally from the Greek Latin. How many of them? You see, they only come to teach you what they want them to know as a pastor. And I'm not here to condemn the Bible. I'm in Israel here. I don't just go, go to River Jordan or Dead Sea. I swim, I go, I sit down and I analyze. I think I go deep into the history about the Bible. In this century, you think somebody will just come to pray and say, Oh, God will, God should send money into your account and it will happen? Who is he? Who is Suleiman? Somebody with a Muslim in them, even. Many of you that are watching now, if they ask you who wrote the Bible, you will even say that it's Jesus Christ who wrote the Bible. There was nothing like Bible during the time of Jesus. They call it scripture. It was scroll during the time of Jesus Christ, Yeshua and Mashiach. If someone tells you, oh, there's nothing, the, the, that name Jesus was fake. Many of you will not agree that Jesus, that name Jesus is fake. There's no letter J in Hebrew during the time of Jesus. And the Bible was written in Hebrew and Arabic. Jesus speak Arabic and Hebrew fluently and probably maybe he speak a little bit of Greek or Latin because those people were colonizing them during the time of Jesus Christ the English came came in after they have translated the Bible 400 years later come on guys let us learn something this pastor should come let us change the narration of this the way they 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 they, they the, the Europe came to change, come to brainwash us about the Bible. The Bible is real. Majority of you who came to Israel, if you go to their churches, you will see that in majority of the church, you will not see where they write in English. They are going to write in Latin or in Greek. That is the truth. If they ask you today, you say, oh, it is St. James, uh, King James that wrote the Bible. King James never wrote the Bible. The history of the Bible is very sacrosanct. The history of the Bible is very political. I said it, John Wycliffe is a scholar. He's from England. John Wycliffe was the ever first guy who wanted to translate the Bible. He did translate the Bible. But his Bible in 13th century the Bible was banned. You see, this religion went under the sea, so a lot of people died because of this, this religion long time ago. A lot of people died in this religion of a thing. Before the religion today, this Christianity comes stable. Is I'm, I'm talking about those who don't want, like Constantine. Constantine the Great killed religion, killed Christians well, well. He was a soldier, an emperor. 
but I'm not going to person who tried to translate the Bible from Arabic, Hebrew to Greek, English, according to my own understanding. But they never wanted him to do so. What they did was they banned him, they invited him to Rome. He never went to Rome. They invited him to come to Rome. If you see all these uh, Catholics now, if, if, they, if, if all these fathers, they fuck up. When I see them at Rome, they, they tell them, say, may they come. Hmm? John Wycliffe refused to go to Rome. One thing, one thing, I don't want to talk, I don't want to waste much of your time about Constantine. I mean, about Wycliffe. Wycliffe was banned. He dies. After, 400, after 44 years of Wycliffe death, they have to go and dig up his bones just because he translated the Bible and they banned his translation. They do what? What did they do? They took his bone, ground his bone, and put it inside the sea. This is all the history of the political Bible. Now here comes St. Jerome. This St. Jerome came all the way from... Uh, I'm sorry, uh, my head is not going well right now, but you can Google that. St. Jerome came all the way to Jerusalem, or Bethlehem. He came with three of his friends. There's a woman called Cecilia pa Paula. A woman called Cecilia Paula. He, he, he was among the people who helped Jerome also to translate the Bible. Cecilia Paula came with St. Jerome. With, I mean, Cecilia Paula came with her daughter. St. Jerome came with three other of men that I don't have to mention now. I don't want to waste much of your time, guys. They tried to go sneak to Jerusalem, take the Bible, the Dead Sea Scroll bit by bit, come to translate them. You know, they came to translate the. He was not translating the, 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 the Bible to English. He was translating from Arabic, Hebrew, to Greek and Latin. It was after people began to translate to English. And that was the mistake that is in St. King James. In fact, let me tell you, St. Jerome Bible was not called Bible. It was called Biblia Sacra Vulgata. Biblia Sacra Vulgata was the name given to the translation Bible that um, St. Jerome did with the help of three, four others, four people, a woman, and three men. What am I trying to say? Don't let people deceive you guys. You this our people in Nigeria, please. They, these pastors are not God. You open a church, you are a pastor in this church, after you are ordained, and you think, okay, God called me, you go to open your own church. Why are you going to open another church? If, it, if it's not about money. Oh, you see that your father Gio is rich. Yeah, it's rich. Who made them rich? The people, the poor people who came to their church. and made, They collect from Peter and give it to Paul. I will continue to say the truth. I dig deep, a little bit deep into history. You may not like me. If you see me, you can just make... I don't care. They are not preaching anymore. They are not preaching prosperity they are not preaching heavenly they are preaching money thank you i don't want to take too much of your time i'm already 10 minutes here so thank you guys i'll see you guys next time uh, man this religion of a thing i'm done with it i'm not saying you shouldn't go to church i go to church but when your pastor is preaching after he finished preaching go and reread your bible they just cut from here and join here. Let me tell you, in the Bible, let me explain to you. Some of those things are not doctrine in the Bible. It is not a sin. Even in the Paul, Paul say it many times. Say, I say it. Not God that says. This is not a law. I'm just saying, like, at least. But your pastor will put it into law. Like, oh, it's the law of God. I beg you.